What's up, YouTubers and Reptile Freaks? I want to give you an update video on this uh, filtration system I'm working on. Uh, so here's the filter. I haven't put any of the media inside of it yet, but I'm just testing the unit to see how it flows. So what you have here in this can here, this is like a substitute for the pool or the pond that the fish are in. So the pump draws water up out of the pond to this pipe goes into the filter, into the uh, pump. It's a pool, uh, it's a pool pump. And inside here, it's got a strainer. Goes to the strainer, exits the pump. Goes into this pipe right here. And in this pipe, I have a heating element for a water heater uh, put in here. So the water passes through and goes back down. And then uh, the, the water enters this inside pipe, goes down through the pipe, exits out the bottom, and then the water comes up the sides alongside this gray pipe in the barrel and exits back out here. So just a little bit ago, I tested the, uh, the flow rate of the pump, and it was at about, about 2,000 gallons per hour, which is okay. So seems to be working all right. I'll just go over it with you guys again. So this is a pond. Water drawn is drawn up through this pipe, goes into the pump, through the strainer, exits the pump. Water travels through this T fitting and out here. And in this end of the T fitting, I've got a, uh, a water heater threaded into it. This is like an electric heating element out of a water heater. It's set up or the, uh, the elements for 240 volts but right now I have it at I'm just going to hook it to 120 because I don't have the uh, my thermostat won't handle that kind of load so um, anyway the water passes through the heating element the heating element heats the water up uh, the water exits goes through this gray pipe goes all the way down through the middle of the gray pipe and down in the very bottom I got some uh, like some grid down there, and uh, the grid's what's going to lift all the media up off the bottom. At the bottom of this gray pipe, there's some holes drilled where the water exits. Water flows back up and goes out this pipe. And once I put all that filter media in there, the flow rate's going to slow down a little bit, and I imagine the uh, the water level in this barrel will drop slightly. So. All the pipe fittings are from Home Depot. This pool pump from uh, eBay is like 90 bucks. Um, the heating element from Home Depot, it was like 20, I think. The pipe and fittings are from Home Depot and a local hardware store. This barrel, I got it off the Missouri River when I was fishing one day. And the pipe, the gray pipe is just scraps we get from work. So. set this up at my buddy's place and get this thing operating so uh, hopefully uh, beginning of next week I'll have another video for you guys to watch this thing operate and actual filter the actual pond so hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you next time bye now